Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm making this video a few days before the video where I do this bracing goes live. And I'm anticipating a load of comments about how heavy these braces are. So, I'm back in the workshop and I've been trimming these braces down with a chisel because they're much too heavy and I think that's just going to deaden the sound. So I've done most of them, just got a couple more to do. Let's get on. Whew. Not sure how we're going to do this. I'm working on these fan braces first and so I've done these four I've got these two to do. In fact, actually, I've done that little bit there. So I just need to carry on with this one. And I'm being, to be perfectly honest with you, quite ruthless with it. I'm taking a lot of material off uh, because I think they're much too heavy and they need to be lighter. Um, obviously, we want the vibrations to travel through this top soundboard. And um, I think the more weight in it, the less those vibrations are going to travel through. So let's get it thinned out. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to hear all this, but oh, it's a nice deep tone there. There's an underlying bass note there. It sounds a lot better than it did before I thin those off. I'm not an expert at this. But um, I think the thinner braces are going to really help. Off camera, I made some dowel from a piece of uh, sycamore and I filled the holes because if you remember, there's a little crack at this end and there is on the other side as well. Uh, also, I managed to cut my thumb in the process of trimming those off and, uh, well, it's my stupid fault. It was cut away from your fingers. Yeah, well... Anyway, um, I'm going to leave those just like that for the time being. I am going to stick the top on this guitar. So I'm just going to move that fretboard off. Um, I'm going to have to work out how to clamp it. It's going to be an interesting thing to do. Well, I've got a stack of clamps at the ready. Uh, unfortunately, the violin clamps I made just are not high enough. Also got some masking tape, so I think I'm going to uh, hold it down with masking tape, then clamp it up. So I'll move these to one side. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. Let's get some glue on this edge.
take the uh, fridge out. <laughs> That'd be embarrassing. I think that'll have to do. Um, I can't see any gaps, so uh, I'm hoping that that is held down pretty tightly. Just gotta let it set now. Good morning. Well, I'm back in the workshop after a few days break. We've had a, a coronation. So uh, yeah, great excitement here. Uh, unfortunately, just before all of that, I tried to do an inlay. And um, well, I thought it was going all right until, well, I tried to tidy up a little piece of it and I've made a mess of it. So my little mermaid now looks like she's got a rather disjointed head, as you can see. So I've decided I'm going to replace her with a bigger mermaid, this one. And uh, this hopefully will give me a little bit more room to cut out all the shape properly and I'm also going to have to infill where her arm bends with a piece of the uh, fretboard wood. <sighs> Let's see if I can do it. I won't bore you with me trying to cut this piece out again. I'm going to get on and do that and see you in a bit.
okay well after quite a while of struggling i've got something in there i was going to do a bigger mermaid but then realized in actual fact it wasn't going to work so then i i <laughs> thought about just putting a head on uh, and replacing that bit and that didn't really work so i've had to cut it out the same size piece again um i've got a little split in the wood there unfortunately i can't help that i'm gonna just glue all of this in and just hope that it's uh, it's going to look okay i don't even think i can get that out now so i'm going to just run some super glue all around the edge okay this glue is dried and i think i'm just going to see if i can take some of the top off here with a big chisel um just do this very gently Never quite sure where it's, whether it's best to sand off or or a chisel off like I'm doing, but I think in this particular case there's so much material that I think I do need to chisel some of it off. I did sharpen these chisels, so I'm hoping they're going to be okay. Well, I, you know what, I think it looks better than it did. So I think that's going to do. Yeah. So I do like the look of the cherry against that uh, rosewood. And um, I, I picked up one of these um, little circle makers in uh, from the central aisle of a supermarket um, not long ago. So I thought I'd have a go, see if I can make myself some little circles. Well, it's worth a go, isn't it? See what we've got. Yeah. Look at that. I could go with a slightly shallower piece of wood. Yeah. Dots. Well, there you go. Look at that. They look just the job. And um, let's just see if we can find the diameter. They look like they're, well, they look like they're five and a half mil. So we need a six mil drill for these. In fact, let's see if we use a brad point. Brad point. I just hope it doesn't cause too much tear out. That looks all right. Just gonna super glue these in. it up pick it up push it in Okay, well, I think the general look is pretty pleasing. I'm quite happy with that. Um, yeah, could have gone better. My uh, mermaid is uh, really not a good inlay to do. I'm going to have to come up with another shape that's easier to do. Anyway, um, somebody did suggest a squirrel, but I <laughs> think I've had enough squirrels. Anyway, the next job ooh, is a difficult one, and that is to get this binding round the edge 
of this guitar because I think, you know, I'm never going to tidy everything up with this, but I think if I can get some binding on the edge, it'll just, just tidy up that, that top there a little bit uh, and make it look nice. I'm not going to put binding on the back. That's okay. It's just the top. So I've got some strips of binding and I've got my homemade Dremel routing jig with its binding attachment on. I've got a test piece of wood. I've never done this before, so let's have a go. little exercise seems to have gone okay amazingly um, I'm gonna run a chisel around it just to tidy it all up but um, yeah I think that's good so I've switched the uh, bending iron on uh, that's gonna take a little while to warm up so that gives me some time just to uh, clean up this free bait I will say I was a, a little skeptical that it was gonna work um, this uh, little jig that I made because uh, every time I do it on a piece of hardwood it really struggles but obviously this isn't hard wood uh, I thought it might splinter a bit more but it hasn't so uh, I think it's going to be I think it's going to look okay saying it's the most even uh, if that's a word rebate but it's certainly uh, I think it's good enough while I'm waiting for the bending iron to uh, warm up I'd show you this uh, one of our friends in the village has asked me to have a look at this uh, wonderful old guitar she's uh, not sure um, quite where it came from uh, but it's um, a little bit older than mine <laughs> but um, looks like it's a metal string guitar unfortunately the headstock's got a rather nasty crack in it but I'm sure we can uh, we can fix that the uh, frets need to be replaced the fretboard needs work on it there's um, some cracks in the uh, in the binding and um, looks like there might be a little bit of a crack in the middle there so it's going to be an interesting project so it's one of these projects i'm going to run alongside the other ones that i'm working on uh, and um well yeah i'll video it as i go yeah interesting stuff okay well i'm up to 83 degrees on the um temperature here took a bit longer than i thought i've just gone and had a cup of tea and come back it's got a, a 60 watt bulb in there and it does take quite a while to warm up. Anyway, what I'm going to do is bend it round this former and uh, secure it in place with some clamps, which will be interesting because I'll be able to test my clamps. And then uh, once they've sort of set into place, then I can uh, stick them on the guitar. But that's probably going to be in the next episode. But let's see if we can bend these so here we go oh and straight away I've got a problem because it's cracked so let's just get rid of that one this wood is not the easiest to bend so you've got to have a bit of patience So 
So hopefully you'll get the picture what I'm trying to achieve. Well, I've got one side done. Uh, I'm going to have to put a, a, a piece in there, but that should be okay. Um, I'm going to do the other side now, but I think I'm going to call this video a day. Because I've rambled on too long, I think. And, um, well, I've got quite a bit to do. So I'm going to get on with that. In the meantime, thank you very much for all your comments. I, I do appreciate them. Please keep them coming. And um, well, this guitar is getting there slowly but surely. So uh, it's all getting exciting now. Anyway, I will see you soon. In the meantime, stay safe. Cheers. <laughs>